Hey guys and welcome back. In this video, we are going to upgrade Ubuntu 22.04 LTS version into the latest version of Ubuntu that is 23.04, also codenamed as Lunar Lobster. And it is the next major update for Ubuntu, which was officially released on April 20, 2023. And uh, unlike Ubuntu 22.04, this is a short term release that will be supported for 9 months only that is till January 2024. Now before we start with the upgradation process, I'll just walk you through some of the new features of this latest release. So first of all, Ubuntu 23.04 comes with GNOME 44 which brings several changes and tweaks that give Ubuntu a revamped and polished look. First of all, you will get a new look wallpaper with a signature lobster logo to match Ubuntu 23.04 codenamed Lunar Lobster. Then the new Yaru theme has been redesigned with a new area of beautiful wallpapers and a fresh set of icons. The file manager is also enhanced. The most conspicuous change is the ability to expand folders in the list view which allows you to view the directory's content. It's a very welcome change and this feature can be enabled from the preferences section. We'll see about this feature once we are finished with the upgradation process. Then the quick settings menu has a modern and refreshed look. Now it is split into two sections with an individual section expanding to display submenu whenever it is clicked on and each section displays information such as network name, power consumption, nightlight status and more. The Bluetooth quick settings button has a designated menu that displays connected devices. And uh, moreover, Ubuntu 23.04 introduces a new Flutter based installer, which is an open source and cross platform UI framework developed by Google. Then also, we have the new kernel version that is 6.2, which includes numerous performance and security enhancements. And, anyways, I'm going to make a new video to talk about the new features and the enhancements of the Ubuntu 23.04. In this video, we shall stick to the upgradation process. So on my computer, I am running Ubuntu 22.04 LTS version and I want to upgrade it to 23.04. Now to do that, first of all, I'll have to upgrade my 22.04 to 22.10 that is the kinetic version. And then from the 22.10, we can upgrade to 23.04 so we cannot directly upgrade from 22.04 to 23.04 and anyways i'm going to do it using the graphical user interface and that is the reason why i have to upgrade to 22.10 first and then from 22.10 i can upgrade to 23.04 if you use terminal then you can straight away upgrade from 22.04 to the latest version that is the 23.04 i have made another video to show how to upgrade ubuntu 22.04 directly to 23.04 using terminal commands the link to that video is in the description of this video you can directly open that link and if you want to upgrade using the graphical user interface then you can follow this video till the end and also you have to keep in mind once you upgrade you cannot go back to the previous version so you'll have to have a freshly installed version if you want to go back to the previous version and also it is recommended to make a backup of your data on an external disk now let's see how to go through the upgrade process let's first of all check the current version of ubuntu that i'm running just want to show you guys that i'm running 22.04 so i'll just click here on the quick settings and from here i'll just click on settings and you can see the settings box has opened up so i'll just scroll down to this section which says about you click there and from here you can see the os name ubuntu 22.04.2 lts and it is running on gnome 42.5 just close it up and uh, show applications and from here we have to click here on software updater first of all we have to update our system to the latest packages and repositories 
and you can see we have a new update here you might be having many more updates available for you i will highly suggest you recommend you to update or install all of those updates which are available in the software updater so i'll just let it install now let me enter the password all right Now once the updates are complete, we can just click on OK and then let's click on show applications once again and now we will click on softwares and updates and here you'll have to come up to this tab under this updates. You'll have to click on this updates tab and here you'll find this option notify me of a new Ubuntu version and here the option that is selected is for long term support version that is the LTS version and since 23.04 is not a LTS version so we'll have to change this option so I'll just click here for any new version enter the password now we just have to click here on close now once again we'll have to open up the software updater let it check for the updates because we have changed the option and then you will get this message the software on this computer is up to date however ubuntu 22.10 is now available that's what i have explained you earlier also we cannot directly upgrade to 23.04 we'll have to upgrade to 22.10 that is the kinetic version then from that version we can upgrade to 23.04 which is the latest version so i'll just click here on upgrade going to ask for the password all right now from this box you can just click on upgrade and after that you will just have to follow the on screen options to complete the upgrade procedure and you will just have to make sure that you have a good internet connection because it's going to download around 2 or 3 gb of files and then your system should stay connected to a power source during the upgrade you don't want your system to turn off or shut down during the installation process which is going to damage your hard disk or your operating system so now it's asking do you want to start the upgrade eight packages are going to be removed 139 new packages are going to be installed and it's going to download around 1000 mb and it's going to take around 31 minutes with my connection speed we'll just click on start upgrade Box screen disabled, so I'll just click on close. Then you will be shown a prompt to remove obsolete packages. You can choose to keep any one of them, but for the most part, you should be good to go. So if you want to see those packages, you can just click on details and then click here, no longer needed. You can see there are 112 packages which are obsolete. If you want to go through the list, you can do that. I'm just going to click on remove. Now, once the upgrade process is done, it's going to ask you to restart the system. So let's just restart now. Now once the restart is complete, we just have to log in into our account. We have been upgraded to 22.10. Let's check it. We can click on this quick settings and then from here we can click on settings. Alright, and here you can scroll to this about section and under this you will find the name of the OS as well as the GNOME version that is 43.1 and 22.10 is the Ubuntu version. Now we have to upgrade our Ubuntu 22.10 to 23.04. So the way we have upgraded from 22.04 to 22.10, in the same way we are going to upgrade from 22.10 to 23.04, which is the latest version. So I'll just click here on show applications and then you click here on softwares and updates. 
and then scroll to this section updates and here you can see the setting is already there for any version notify me of a new ubuntu version so i'll just close it and then click on show applications again this time click on software updater now it's going to check for the updates and if there's any update available it's going to update the packages and the repositories of the system otherwise we are going to get the message about the possible upgrade which we can do for ubuntu 23.04 and you can see that ubuntu 23.04 is now available so now all we have to do is just click on this upgrade button and then we have to follow the same procedure that we have done previously so I'll just enter the password let the upgrade begin it's very simple we don't have much to do in graphical user interface we don't even have to type the commands the only downside is that we have to upgrade from 22.04 to 22.10 and then from 22.10 we have to upgrade again to 23.04 that is the only downside anyways let's begin the upgrade process while this upgrade process is going on you might get a message about a third party ppas it might say something like the third party ppas will be disabled and then you will have to manually enable them after the upgrade if you are going to need them so in that case you will just have to close the dialog box or the message box you don't have to do anything there it's just like an information box and then you are going to get the prompt which shows the number of new packages to be installed and the ones that are no longer needed so here we can just click on this start upgrade to continue with the upgrade process and then the system is going to disable the lock screen during the upgrade process so just click on close here then again we will get a prompt to remove the obsolete packages if you want to keep any one of them you can keep otherwise you can just let it be the way it is and just click on remove and then finally the upgradation is complete we just have to restart the computer for the changes to take effect now once the restart is complete we just have to log in into our account and then from the wallpaper only you can make out that our upgradation was successful and this is the lunar lobster version that is the 23.04 of ubuntu if you want to check you can just click here on the quick settings then click here on settings and then here under os name you can see this is ubuntu 23.04 and the gnome version is 44 so which means we have successfully updated or upgraded our ubuntu to the latest version that is 23.04 and uh, there are a lot of new features that have been unlocked because of this new version of ubuntu for example if you click here on this quick settings you can see that each settings have their subsections thanks to the split buttons and also you can open these sub menus using keyboard and also they have this subtitles you can see it's written balanced in the same way the subtitles will be available for your internet or bluetooth let's say you are connected to any access point then the name of that access point will be visible under your wi-fi internet connection but since i don't have wi-fi connection i have wired so there's no information which is related to the wired connection so that's why it's, it's blanked and if i connect my device with any bluetooth device then the name of that device is going to appear here but anyways these are the topics which i'm going to cover in another video where we will talk about the new features or the new changes that have been made into the new version of ubuntu this is all for this video i hope you were able to upgrade your ubuntu to the latest version and if you like the video don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel i'm going to see you in the next video till then take care and thanks for watching